Tonight we're making a southern favorite, and that is chicken fried steak. Now I've lightened it up in the fact that I'm not going to deep fry it. These are just round eye steaks, and you want to trim off any visible fat. Each one of them had a, just a little fat cap on the end, and I find it easiest to do with a pair of scissors. I've already pounded out the other three, but I just want to show you. I just used two um, pieces of plastic wrap so it's wide enough. And you'll see this one's a little sli <laughs> a little slippery. It starts to get away from me. Of course, the other ones didn't do that. Just the one that's on camera. <laughs> so then take your meat mallet if you have it, rolling pin, um, just beat the stuffings out of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season, sorry to reach in front of you, this side before I put it over on the plate. And then when I get it over on the plate, watch it, watch it be slippery again. None of the other ones acted like that. <laughs> and so then go ahead and season the other side. That is just the house seasoning that I use recipes on my website. It's Paula Dean's recipe. I put it on everything. Now, the pan I preheated and I added a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Now, what you see there is not the pan smoking. That is just the reflection of my green beans back there steaming, the steam coming off my green beans. So I have two eggs in that bowl with a half a cup of milk, and I beat it all together really well. So dip your steak in the egg, and that, I started with a cup of flour, and I put some more house seasoning in it. And when we get through, now see there that little bit of flour? You can tell the oil's ready. We're going to measure that flour when we get through and see just how much we used. So we want to go ahead and do that for the other one and just do two at a time. Now, if you'll notice... I am really pushing it down in that flour. You want that flour to coat it really, really well. That's why you start out with more than you need because you're going to need to get enough on there. Now, I cook these probably five minutes per side, but after the first couple, I went ahead and turned it so the other side could get in the oil. Otherwise, you run the risk of all the oil soaking up into the one side and then you're flipping it and you're cooking on dry flour and that's how you burn it and you can see up there in the top corner i had my pan too hot as usual and i burn it but a little bit later I, I get a spoon and i scoop it out so it's not in our gravy now i'm gonna go ahead and cook this like i said probably five minutes on each side uh, i just flip them back and forth and turn them around the pan in case there was any hot spots before I take them out, I test them with my fork just to see if there's any um, blood running because we don't we don't like them that way. <laughs> we like ours done. You might like yours medium or something. So you cook them you cook them how you like them. Now for the second batch, I added another quarter cup of oil. So that means a quarter cup of oil for two steaks, and that's where your points are coming in at. But the points for deep fried are way much more. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last two. This is where I told you I was scooping out that burnt flour. Don't worry if you cook too high like I do. Just scoop it out. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be all right. The worst you'll have to do is to scrape out what's in the pan and start with fresh oil but you will lose a lot of your flavor so i suggest just scooping it out with a spoon or cook at a lower temperature <laughs> like normal people do now that those last two steaks got done i scooped out a little bit more of that burnt and what i'm doing here is just trying to eyeball how much fat is still in the pan and i'm guessing three tablespoons so I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour, and I'm taking it out of, that's the flour, I didn't show you, but that's the flour I had left. And after I take that three teaspoons out, it looked like instead of a cup, we used 
two-thirds of a cup. So that's what I counted in the tracker. Now you're going to just whisk this around and get your flour and your grease all blended up together. If it looks like it's going to be clumpy and not, you know, wet looking, add just a little bit more oil. Or if it's too oily, add a little bit more flour. This here is what you want it to look like. And you want it to give it a nice um, brown color. Now there's a quick a quickness between brown and black. Trust me, I have made black gravy in my day. <laughs> so what I have here is two cups of milk. And I'm just using skim milk because that's what we drink. You can use whatever milk you want. So don't use almond milk. That, that ain't gonna, I don't think that's going to work. Put a little bit in to get it combined. I find it easier just to do a little bit at a time. It seems to combine a little bit better for me. So when you get all your lumps out, get all the rest of your milk put in there, we're going to go back and stir it periodically for 5 to 10 minutes or until it gets up to the consistency you want. So I got it up to the consistency I wanted. I'm going to push it back off the heat so it'll quit cooking, and we're going to serve it up. Now I figure there's no way you're going to eat a quarter of this gravy on one piece of steak. So I built the recipe for the gravy separately and built it as six servings. So the steak as I cooked it came out to be 10 points and the gravy come out to be two points. So that's 12 points for this chicken fried steak and gravy. But if you look in the app, at different restaurants and whatnot, it's anywhere from 22 to 25 or, or or more points. And I know that's because they deep fry it in the traditional way. So I have lightened it up considerably. Now, some of you think, oh, that's really high for a meal. But when you don't eat your points during the day, and nope, not zero point foods either, then you have room for your favorites at night. And my favorites are southern comfort foods. So I just gave it a good taste. And I, <laughs> I was just flinging my hand like, oh, that's good. <laughs> so there you have it. Good old lightened up country fried steak and gravy. If you try it, let me know what you think. And I will see you on my next video.